the intensity between you and Will turned up a little bit on Twitter the other day. Uh, yeah. How'd that come about? Just, he turned the heat up now? on it. It's fun. He turned the heat on it. I like it. He's coming in with hype. He hypes himself. He thinks it's going to be a walk in the park for him. He uh, thinks this is going to be easy. I'm no easy fight for no one. I don't lay down for no one. I don't give up for no one. I don't pack in. I don't quit. I'm into the bitter end and I'm looking to take him out. I'm sharp, fit, fast, healthy, and I'm ready to take him out. Yeah, and he's taken some shots at what you've done in the UFC, you know, your accomplishments and everything. Did any of that, you know, get to you personally at all? <laughs> Not at all, no. It's, it's just a part of the sport. It's, uh, it's fun and games. More animosity, more hype, the better I show. The better I turn up, the more fire that I feel in my belly, the more hunger to shut him up, to prove him that he's in the wrong class, that uh, I'm a better fight than him, the, the better Ross Payson will show up on the night. Ross, you were uh, you were Chandler's training partner when uh, when he fought Brooks twice. So are you pretty familiar with Brooks uh, going into this fight already? <laughs> Honestly, no. I, I've only ever seen them two fights. Um, I trained with Mike for that fight, only being because of the striking that I had to help him out with. Uh, that was the only thing that I helped him with. Um, but in that fight, like I said, I was not making excuses. Mike was injured, he shouldn't have took that fight both of them um, but he did he paid the prices he paid the consequences it didn't work out for him I think Mike's a great fighter and um, he's got great abilities um, but on that occasion he came up short uh, a lot of people praised him for stepping in on kind of short notice and taking this fight but it seems risky for you as well not having the name that you have why did you why were you willing to take this fight I'll fight anyone, anytime, anywhere. I'm ready for anyone. I've been seeing it for a long time. I'm sick of fighting guys that the media don't get excited about, the fans don't get excited about. I'm in this to make money. I'm in this for my family. Um, I want to live the good life. Um, I want to come on and put exciting fights on. Like I say, when you guys get excited, it gets me excited. When the fans get excited, I come in here, I train harder, I want it more, I fight harder, and only good things come from it. There's no negatives whatsoever. It's only positive in my mind right now. Last time we obviously spoke to you was after the Chad Laprise fight. Now, not saying that you weren't excited for that fight, but would you say this is the most you've been excited in quite some time for a matchup? Yeah, yeah, quite some, quite some time. Um, last year has been r rough, up and down. Um, been through some health issues, but that's, that's not an excuse, that's nothing. I still fought, I'm still fighting the UFC's best. I've won some, I've lost some, I've, I've, I've paid the price, you know what I mean? But I'll never quit, never stop. I keep telling everyone all the time that I'll fight anyone, anytime, anywhere. I, I'm ready to, my abilities, my skill, my heart, my want is always there. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'm ready to go. My weight's down, um, I'm back to being healthy again, so I'm hungry and I, and I wanna, I want to make a statement. This fight's got all eyes on it. He's coming with a lot of hype, a lot of hi a lot of energy about himself, feel himself. So I'm sure he's going to bring it. I'm questionable about that though, but we'll see when we get in there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm knocking this guy out. Look, this, is the, uh, this is the right time for you to make a real run in this lightweight division. What's clicked in your life, in your in your training side of things that makes you feel you're in that right spot to really kick on? Nothing's really clicked like instantly. It's just been a gradual progress. Like I said, getting over the health issues that I had, um, getting back to feeling healthy, um, training, and, and like replenishing myself and feel good for the next session. Everything's just been rolling along. It's like the snowball effect. I'm getting all that back again. Um, kind of when I had the up and down, up and down start. It was stoppy start, stoppy start, but the snowball effect of continuously keep going, continuously keep moving. My speed feels good, my, con my combinations, my counters, my skill feels good. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's just a combination of everything. Just on that last comment there, you said that you don't think Will's going to bring it in this fight. Can you sort of explain that? Why do you think that? What do you think he's going to be trying to do? Yeah, because every time I touch someone, they run away. I, I bring power to this division. Um, I knock people out. That's what I do. As soon as this, the, the feel power, they either wrestle or they, they run. And everyone knows that I struggle with guys that go on the defense and run away from us. And the Trinaldo fight, it, it was the worst fight in UFC history. You know what I mean? The guy ran from us the whole time. And I struggle with guys going backwards. So once he fails my power, once he fails what I bring to the actual octagon, and he's not going to want to mix it up. He's going to, and he's going to realize when he throws and I throw five back, 
he's got nothing to throw no more. All he's got to do, think about is getting hit. So he's going to run, you know. He's either going to run or he's going to wrestle. And we're prepared for both. Um, I, 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 I feel that I'm getting better at my abilities at, at cutting angles. Um, guys that are, who run, I'm getting better at chasing these guys down, cutting them off. It's, it's not like a boxing ring. It's not like cutting someone off in the corner of a rope ring, you know. It's an octagon and, and there's no corners. It's, it's hard to, 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 to cut people off when they're going backwards. But I feel like I've got the techniques down, my game plan's down, and I'm ready to just execute now. You mentioned health issues you're here with a couple times. What exactly were the problems, and can you pinpoint a part where it was like the lowest point for you that you were dealing with that? Well, I've had some kidney kidney problems in the past. Uh, so kidneys was one in my digestive system. Um, cutting to 145 uh, messed us up. That was the, the root of all evil with my... My, my digestive system, my stomach, my kidneys. Um, yeah, I had to take some, some time out and think about what I was doing. And uh, I just knew I could, I, every time I fought at 155, yes, the weight cut was easy, but I didn't feel like me still. It, there was something not right. And uh, I really feel cutting too much weight, trying too hard to do that stupid weight cut, is, uh, it really messed us up long term. Um, hopefully, we've got to figure it out now. So, in the after fighting life, no, it's not going to be an issue, but uh, that was the start of my problems with my kidneys and my digestive system. So you probably like some of these new weight cutting rules that are, that are coming Yeah, the tomorrow is, uh, sorry, Thursday is, uh, is a blessing for me. Um, like I said, I'm light, I'm healthy. Um, I woke up this morning with uh, four kilos, um, still eating, had breakfast. So I'm, I'm feeling sharp, I'm feeling healthy, and I'm feeling fit again. And, the, the hunger's definitely there. You say it was like long-term issues. Uh, how did you remedy, remedy that? Was it more of a diet thing or was it? Diet, um, I went in to see some doctors, some specialists, um, had some ultrasounds and stuff on my, on my kidneys. Um, I originally thought I had a, an ulcer in my stomach, um, but it wasn't that. It was, I, I don't want to bore you guys out with health issues. It doesn't matter about health issues. I'll fight with one leg, I'll fight with one arm. This, this, this is not, we're not here to, give excuses of why I've lost fights. I'm not here to give excuses about nothing. I'm here, I'm prepared, I'm healthy, and I'm focused, and I'm switched on to come knock this guy out. You could argue it's important, though, because weight cutting is a huge thing in the sport right yeah, now. Yeah, no, definitely. It could be a message to other fighters who are going 100%. to the same thing. I've paid the price for that. It was my decision to go down there, to try it out, to do it. I was stupid enough to do it. Um, I feel better at 155, and future life, when I have my own fighters, I have my own fight team, I'll be, I'll, I'll be correcting and telling them from my mistakes what I learned, what I did wrong. Well, like you said, he's coming in with a lot of hype. Uh, when you see him coming in, do you feel like uh, you're almost being overlooked as people kind of look at him as this guy who's going to climb to the top? Yeah, I mean, I've been around a long time. I don't know if I'm getting overlooked. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the da more dangerous guys in the division. If you look at my knockout record it, it, in the lightweight division, so it's not as if I feel like I'm getting overlooked. I think that he just brings more hype. Um, he's, a, he's a former world champion. He wears a belt. He walks around like he's uh, he's the champion of, of, of the division, but he's not. He's like I said in my interviews before. He's, he's a zero. He's untested. He's never been hit by by me. He's never fought me. Um, I'm a different level. I'm a different animal right now. You know, it's, it, all the questions are on him. People have seen me through the highs. People have seen me through the lows. And you always know I bring it. You always know I come to fight. If he can withstand that, then, then go for him. It will we'll, we'll be a long night. But uh, I'm, I'm ready. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Let's bring it. Let's do it now. And he brings the credentials, former Bellator champion, all that stuff. But it's, he's not ranked in the UFC's rankings. So like, what does a win over him do for you? Um, like you said, he's not in the UFC rankings. What does it do? He's a, he's a name in the UFC. I mean, I've fought names before. I've beaten names before. Um, what I hope it does for us is gives me the big names fight. It gives me the fight's what the media get excited about. Um, puts me in the limelight. Um, bigger contracts, bigger sponsorships. Um, the good life, you know, that's what I wanted to, wanted to do. I've been working in this, for the, in this sport for 15 years. And uh, uh, it's, just, it's what I've always wanted to do. It's where I want to be and, and it's time to shine. Does Will Burks bring anything to the table that you haven't seen before? Nothing, nothing. I fought better strikers, I fought better wrestlers, I fought better jiu-jitsu guys, uh, I fought more explosive guys. Fighting in the UFC for seven years is not like 
fighting in Bellator for two years. You know, like I said to him, I said, we'll see what happens when you fight a, a seven-year veteran in the UFC on a, on, a, on a kid's first day at work, you know. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, Michael Bisping just won the middleweight title. Uh, do you get inspiration from that process and seeing that, you know, he stayed around long enough to be in the right time in the right place? 100%, you know. Um, I was buzzing for Mike, you know, all his hard work. He's been through the same. He's had the health issues, he's had the highs, he's had the lows, he's had the losses, he's had the wins. He's just quite getting there, he's not quite getting there. And, and he done it, you know. He, everything was happened, put that aside, he done it. He was the first British guy to do it. And congrats to him, you know. He's, uh, he's an inspiration to me and millions of other British fighters out there. It sounds like you've been thinking a lot of long term. Do you have any names in mind beyond Will? Obviously, not to look past, uh, you know, Will, but yeah, you know, I mean, I, I do want Diego to fight, but it doesn't look like he wants it. Um, names: Alvarez, DeSantos, Diaz, Cerrone. If he comes back down to 55, McGregor. If he's at 55, them's the names. You know, the names are put on the billboards where you see my face up there underneath the on bright lights. You know, that's what I want. Um, that's what I inspire to, that's what I see, that's what I visualize, and, and that's what I want to get. Do you know your position on this card? Are you guys the co-main event? Or? Um, I, I, I don't think it's classed as the co-main event. We've got the finales. Yeah. So I think it's... You're just before the two top finales. And then the main event. Okay. So I don't know if you want to class that the co-co-co-main event. <laughs> <laughs>